Thanks for joining me for MTI's Whiteboard Wednesdays. I'm Dan Adams. Today we're going to talk about low force friction welding versus traditional friction welding. In the last episode, we introduced you to a brand new style of solid state joining called low force friction welding, where we can add preheat energy to the part and be able to make the same quality solid state joint at a fraction of the force. We call this low force friction welding. Today we want to talk about some of the values of low force friction welding compared to traditional friction welding. So the first value that I want to talk about is flash formation. On the left here we see a drawing of a traditional rotary friction weld flash compared to a drawing of what we can do with low force friction welding. And we know that low force friction welding has a continuum of different parameters of elements of preheat and relative motion. So if I want to weld uh, two components with very little upset, very little flash formation, I can do that on that continuum. Or I can manipulate those same parameters and get much more upset if I want to. There might be a benefit to your processing downstream of the friction welder uh, in order to drive some value. So this is the first value that we'd say differentiates low force from traditional friction welding. The second one is because we're using low force, uh, we now can decrease the size of the machine. If I'm using less forge force to make the same weld, then the amount of steel that I need in the machine frame, the complexity of the tooling, all decreases. So the size of the machine decreases and the footprint of the machine decreases, all because of different process forces. The third value that we have is reduced cycle time. I can add more preheat energy and I can get that energy into the part faster than I can with traditional friction by having that external heat source. Therefore, the overall cycle time, the time it takes to produce a weld, decreases. This can be a really strong driver for high volume producers. The last one that we're going to talk about today we, is preheat and postheat capability. We know that the technology is there to add energy. That's the preheat portion. We've been talking about that. But because I have that technology built into the machine, I can use that same energy source to do post-weld heat treatment of the parts. And that might save you another piece of equipment in your production line. All four of these can increase the value of using low force friction welding compared to traditional friction welding for your process. Thank you for joining us for this episode of MTI's Whiteboard Wednesdays. For more information on this topic or other friction welding solutions, please visit our website at mtiwelding.com.